Greetings, this is Greg Bem, one of the SCC librarians, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to access and use Frito Reference. From the SCC library homepage, click on the A to Z databases link, and that will take you to this page. From here, click on the letter C to filter for databases that begin with the letter C, and scroll down to Credo Reference. Clicking on the link to Credo Reference will take you in a new tab, Credo Reference. Note that this is an info-based database, so some of the interface may seem familiar if you've used other info databases, info-based databases, but also note that it has a unique layout. The top bar is the InfoBase bar. You can get access to the link to this database directly using this bar. Otherwise, it's not very helpful. Beneath that, you'll see Credo Reference, the title of the database and the logo. And the three line icon here is a menu that provides some quick links that we will explore in a little bit. Beneath that, you will note that this is a great background information database, a reference database that can help you start your research. And in searching Credo, you will be looking at 3 million articles, over 1,200 titles, and 121 publishers. The basic search is here. You can click on the advanced search link to be taken to the advanced search screen, which has multiple search bars. Boolean operator support, and a variety of filters that you can use from the get-go to construct your search. Back on the main screen for Credo, we have all of the different subjects covered within Credo listed with helpful icons. We will explore these in a moment. We have a mind map tool that visually allows you to explore and research your topic. And then if you're looking at being a better researcher, Credo has also inserted a variety of mini guides with basic quick tips on doing research. Let's do a basic search for poetry. And clicking on the magnifying glass, we are taken to this page on poetry. Note that because poetry also aligns with an article of the same name, Credo has automatically filled in the top of this results page with a definition from Blackwell's Companion to Philosophy, Companion to Aesthetics. If we wanted to continue reading this article on poetry, we could click Read More and be taken to that page. Below, we'll find search results for poetry across articles, of which there are 33,000, images, of which there are 80, and clicking on more library resources, in this case, does not connect us to any other sources. But note that there is the search other sites links on the right hand side of the page. Some of these links will take us to databases that our library has access to. However, please note that these links may not be the links through our library database. You might not have immediate access when you search on these links specifically. Let's take a look at one of these articles. As you can see, the first one, Poetry, is from the Princeton Handbook of Poetic Terms. A brief snippet of information describing this resource is included, as well as the list of words and the tags of this source. If we click on this article link, we are taken to the article page. The article's introduction, which the snippet was from, is listed here, as well as the full text of the rest of the article down the page. Note also some terms that are related to poetry, such as poet, poetics, sonnet, lyric, are linked here, and we can explore, for example, lyric, and explore by clicking on these links. In this case, lyric took us to another page within the same document, that Princeton handbook. 
There are some tools for articles and other resources in Credo that are listed here, such as saving to your account. If you're not logged in with a free Credo account, you can create one. Sharing, creating a citation, including in APA, Chicago, and MLA. A nice read aloud tool and a nice translate tool. Also note that there are some guidance on the right hand side for related terms, related articles, and the list of those links to other websites. Scrolling all the way down, we will often see a variety of references listed in the article, and we also will see a link to the book that this article came from and a permalink that we can use if we want to save this article. If we click on the book going to the click on the link going to the book that this article is within, it will take us to the book page. We can see basic information about the book here. We can search within the book and we can browse all of the articles, in this case, terms of poetry in this book. Now let's go back to the page on poetry to take a look at the map. So if we click on explore related concepts, we actually can click on any of the concepts that are linked in this map. Note that some of the concepts, like meter and verse, are linked visually as well. So there are some ways that the ontology or visual representation of terminology are, is shown here in this small box. If I click on drama, for example, that will take us to the drama page, which is similar in design But we can see the map has changed now and things have slightly skewed towards drama. But if we want to go back to poetry, it is listed right here for ease and access. Let's go back to the main screen of Credo and take a look at the subjects page real quick. So let's click on Arts and Leisure. And note that when you click on one of those subjects, it will take you to this page. Some of the featured topics that are listed at the top may be related to current events or seasonality. Below this list of featured topics is the full list. You can do a quick find if you're looking for something specific. Note that there are a variety of topics listed here, including individual names. And you can also filter by subject. So it will allow you to drill down into subtopics. If you want. That concludes the basic overview of Credo Reference. There's actually a lot more in Credo Reference based on all of the specific types of resources and tools. And I highly encourage you to explore and experiment as you're conducting research and using reference information. If you have any questions, please reach out to the SEC librarians. We'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching this video. Take care.